build a bridge in Road Architect, you mark the start point and end points of the bridge. You can then select from 14 different pre-made bridges from the Road Architect wizard, or you can create a bridge from your own custom meshes. When creating a bridge, the train must be elevated in such a way to make a bridge look realistic. In this case, on road number one, we have a flat road. So we're going to raise the nodes several dozen meters in the air to create an elevated area for the bridge. Typically, you want the bridge start node and the bridge end node to match in height. In this case, we're going to use 18.65 meters. Select the node which you want the bridge to start, in this case, node number 2, as the bridge start. Where you want the bridge to end, you select bridge end, in this case, node number 3. Note that it removes the train deformation between these two nodes. Now reselect the start node and then select the open wizard. From here you can select from one of 14 bridge types. If you wish to manipulate the bridge after you've created it, you simply select the nodes and can change their height just as you did before with the transform and the bridge will transform itself in real time. Next we will repeat the previous scenario except with pre-built terrain. We're going to create road number two and then create the nodes for road number two. Now we're going to select the bridge start node, in this case node number one, and make it a bridge start. And we're going to select node number two as the bridge end. Note that it also removes the train deformation between the two nodes. Now reselect the bridge start node and then select open wizard. And once again you can select from the 14 different bridge types. Bridges can also contain multiple nodes between the bridge start node and the bridge end node. In this case, we will use road number two to construct a multi node bridge. For the multi node bridge, we will make node number four as the bridge start node. We will make node number six the bridge end node. Now, reselect the bridge start node and select open wizard. Select one of the 14 bridges, and you'll see that it has created a bridge between the two nodes with a node in between the bridge and start nodes. You can edit this node's transform, and the bridge will transform along with it. Road Architect also supports very long bridges. In this case, we'll create a bridge with similar length of the Golden Gate Bridge. This map is 2,000 meters across. We're going to create another road and then create the nodes for this road. The bridge start will be located at node number one. The bridge end will be located at bridge at node number two. Reselect node number one and then click open wizard. Find a large suspension and a very large suspension bridge will be created for you spanning about 1800 meters. 
Next, let's create a deck arch bridge, similar to the Hoover Dam bridge. Let's create another road, road number four, and then create the nodes for this road. Let's mark node number one as the bridge start and node number two as the bridge end. Note that it has removed the train deformation between these two points. Let's reselect node number one or the bridge start node and click open wizard. There are three different ar deck arch bridges to choose from. One with 12 meter separation on the beams, 24 meter and 48 meter. In this case, I'm going to select 12 meter as this distance is a bit small for a deck arch bridge. An advanced feature regarding bridges in Road Architect is straight line bridges. This will optimize the bridge and significantly reduce the triangle count. Note that you must be familiar with extrusion and edge objects to understand this. You can either watch the uh, previous tutorials on these two items or uh, self-learn. To create a straight line bridge, the road must be straight on the height and one, either the X or Z plane, depending on which way the road is pointing. In this case, we are going to match the X axis at 71.4 meters on each node. Now we are going to make sure that each node on this road is the same exact height, 38.06 meters. Appears to be the case. Reselect the bridge start node. Notice on the right hand side under extrusion and edge objects, there are extrusion and edge objects. The suspension bridge base and railing are prime candidates for straight line construction. Notice when selecting the bridge base how many triangles are, are involved throughout the entire length of the bridge. Quite a bit. So let's reselect the bridge start node and then find the suspension bridge base. Find the straight line stretch option. Check it and it will create a much more optimized box for the base. Notice that sometimes the UV mapping might be messed up. Provided within the straight line stretch options are some UV stretch options. In this case, we're going to try stretching it along the x-axis, and then that fixes our issue. This option provides for a significantly reduced triangle count, from thousands to just a dozen. When using suspension bridges of any size, sometimes you'll notice that the tops of the sus suspension cables will not match up perfectly with the pillar. If this occurs, select the bridge start node and then find the suspension cables in the extrusion and edge objects listing. In this case, we're going to affect the right cable first. You'll want to find the vertical curve options. Simply adjust this curve until it looks more realistic. This error occurs due to different variations in height and direction in the bridges. A simple fix along the curve should fix this issue. 